Hello, this is Terry Gray with Palomar College Academic Technology, and today we're returning to our series on Windows Live Movie Maker. Our subject today is Pan and Zoom Effects, otherwise known as the Ken Burns Effect. That's usually all you have to say for people to know what you're talking about. Uh, everybody's familiar with those Ken Burns documentaries where the camera pans and zooms over old still images. Uh, it, it gives the illusion of a motion picture occurring even though the um, material that is being presented is a still image. Well, the project I have on my screen has four still images from our campus and I'm going to apply those effects now to show you what they uh, are all about by going to the Animations tab and the Pan and Zoom Gallery. Now let's uh, drop down this gallery to take a look at all of these effects and you can see that uh, there's an automatic choice and what that does is just choose a random effect if you applied it to all of your pictures you'd get a random effect on each one there are pan only effects and notice as I hover my mouse over these effects you'll see a live preview in the picture that's in the um, in the scrubber window and there are zoom in effects okay the little arrows on the icons give you a sense of what they do and there are zoom out effects okay and uh, to click one of these uh, would apply the effect to the picture that is selected that is the picture that has the blue background around it I could select all of them and apply a particular effect to all of them or I could choose a random effect to be applied to all of them or I could simply select one of my pictures, apply an effect, and then click Apply to All. And it would be applied to all of the uh, photos in my project. Okay, now let me tell you right up front that you do not have fine control of the panning and zooming. There are some third-party add-ins you can get to Movie Maker that will allow you to have a really fine control. If you want to, for example, zoom in on someone's face out of a large picture, you'd have to get one of these add-ins. Uh, right now you're stuck with whatever is, is uh, available on the gallery here. So you don't have, you can't define an area, then define a broader area, and then zoom into that smaller area or zoom out from it. Um, it's pretty much, uh, you pick what the um, templates provide and that's what you live with. Uh, this, this product was preceded by another product called Photo Story 3, which I used quite a bit in, uh, a number of years ago, and that one actually did contain that sort of fine control, but I think what Microsoft has wanted to achieve now is uh, very few choices for the user within Movie Maker. Uh, they want to make it as simple as possible for uh, most people to be satisfied by putting their still images in, applying motion to it, and producing a movie. So if you want something that has fine control of panning and zooming, you'll have to buy one of the add-ins or use some other product. Okay, let's go ahead and apply an effect now, just so we can see what it's like. Here I'm just going to choose this one, this pan effect. And let me uh, draw your attention now to the icon on this picture. And that icon uh, has a little image on it that, that means that there is a pan and zoom effect applied here. Let's go ahead and select another one, apply some other effect here. Okay, a zooming effect. And we'll select these two and apply yet some other effect to both of them. Okay, now you can see there are effects applied to all four of our pictures. And the amount of time uh, that the effect is applied is controlled by the duration of the photo. Let's go to our Video Tools tab here. And you can see the duration of the photo I have selected is 7 seconds. That's the default in uh, Movie Maker and we can change it to anything we want. So if you want a really long, slow pan and zoom, we can change it to 30 seconds, or if you want a real quick one, one second, or you can even type in the box uh, for briefer periods. Okay, that's pretty much the story. Now let's go back to our animations tab and talk about removing them. Uh, to remove a pan and zoom effect from a single image, uh, select the image, and on the gallery, choose None and we've removed it. You can see the little icon is gone from the upper left of this photo. And it, to remove it from all of them, we can just select the rest of them and 
choose none and we've removed it from all of them okay that's about all there is to panning and zooming um, I, uh, it, it does have a, a dramatic effect on, on how interesting your movies are, so I do suggest you use it. Uh, if you do want finer control of what gets zoomed in on, you're going to have to get an add-on for the program. Okay, thanks for listening.